Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Reverse Rebirth. So, we only have one world left to do out of our next pack of four cards, and I've saved the best for last. We're going to Halloween Town. Now, normally when I play this casually, I do Halloween Town first, because I like getting the Oogie Boogie card as soon as possible. Because that's one of the only ways Riku has of healing, but if you save Halloween Town for last, the enemies give out a good amount of experience, the enemies aren't bad annoying to deal with, and Halloween Town also gives you the best deck by far out of all these four worlds, so it'll be nice to do a longer world with a good deck. Let's see what's in store for us. Do, 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 Halloween Town. Alright, looking at our deck, looks pretty solid. We got a couple fours, but besides that, they're all very high valued. And we have the White Knight card, Alter Gravity to increase jumping ability. It's a very interesting card, but not all that beneficial, I'd say, for battle. So we're probably going to stick with Dragon Maleficent and Jafar. Because we will be facing Lotus Flowers, which have high-valued cards for breaking our deck. Come on! There we go. We have a lot of HP now. Ah, oh, bobber. I like all the experience they give us, though. It's really nice. <laughs> They're dropping 100 valued experience points on their defeat. This is excellent. I decided to show off this. Whoa! Look how high Riku can jump with that card. That's like flying. So great for avoiding enemy attacks. But unfortunate, And it also... <laughs> makes the experience points bounce higher as well. Last for free reloads, that's impressive. Alright. Well, let's go into overdrive, shall we? Wait. Did I equip a different one? Yeah, I equipped the guard armor. Whoops. I'm like, that doesn't seem like overdrive, it's not dealing a lot of damage. Because it wasn't. I equipped the guard armor card instead. So it's kind of interesting, like, you- oh, level up, nice. HP. It's kind of interesting because Halloween Town is kind of like the darkest world, like in terms of atmosphere, and it gives you the best deck, so it's almost like Riku's drawing the power of the darkness of the world to make his card deck better. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but if so, that's pretty nice on the designer's part. Woohoo! Stagnant space. Check out the map. Oh wow, Halloween Town is massive. Oh wow, that is a massive world. Okay, well I will probably not go to every room, but I'm at, the at the very least I'm going to make some large rooms. So let's start out with a teeming darkness. Because I only got two level ups last world, that's not very good. So I probably need to make up some lost experience in this world. Just to make sure I'm a really high level, because there are some very tough bosses later on. I forgot gargoyles could shoot fire. Alright, the battles are going really fast and I'm earning a ton of experience, which is awesome. So, I'm just going to start by going in a straight line to the boss door. I think that'll be for the best. Two or higher. Let's do a Tranquil Darkness to make up for the teeming darkness that we did earlier. Because again, this seems to me like a pretty good level grinding spot. I can effortlessly beat most of the enemies. And I get a pretty decent amount of experience for it. Oh hey, I forgot about White Knights. They've only appeared like once in this world <laughs> before now. I got a lot of HP. Hey! Ha! Ha! My turn! 
Alright, give me a level up. AP! Oh, that'll help. I bet that'll let me take out the enemies even faster. I can almost take out shadows in two hits even without getting the first strike, which is nice. Oh yeah. I also have a lot of map cards that are really good, because I keep throwing away my terrible map cards. Oh man. Not quite enough to get rid of the lotus flowers in a single combo. But considering I needed several thousand experience points to get a, le get a level up, I got one almost entirely in just that last room. Which admittedly was a teeming darkness, but still. As you can see, I'm getting a few hundred experience points for every enemy. Alright, so it looks like we can't go in just a straight line, but that's going to lead to the way out, so I think I'll go up. Free or higher. Let's go for Strom Initiative. Those are always awesome. Oh, I love that wave. That's the best wave for Strom Initiative. Hmm, that's it for Strom Initiative. And it looks like that was actually not the correct way to go. Bit of a shame. So I guess we'll go down from here. Free or higher. Feeble darkness, definitely. This is Halloween, this is Halloween. Pumpkin scream in the dead of night. <laughs> Feeble darkness is a bit unnecessary because honestly, I can break pretty much every card anyways. It just helps a little bit. Teeming darkness, alright, fair enough. Um, I don't know how that worked, but okay. I won't complain. If the physics make no sense, but it works in my favor, I'm fine. But if it's the other way around, then... Not so much. Alright, another level up. Let's keep on boosting that HP. Because as you can see, my HP is I'm almost all the way to the top, actually. I have like half the blue bar. Which I believe is more HP than Sora ever got in his story, and I still have three worlds to do after this, so... That's what happens when you're not concerned with CP at all. Alright. Continuing this way, now we'll use one of our lasting dazes. Alright. Zippity doo da, zippity a. Why the heck is the ceiling so high today? Alright, five or higher. Sleeping darkness, I guess. We haven't used that yet. I almost wish Riku could get enemy cards in his mode, like, through random drops. I understand that uh, quite a few of the enemy cards that could drop would not benefit Riku in any way, but I think it would be cool, especially since they would get immediately added to his deck. So you could, like, grind on power wild cards to get a bunch of them. 
Use them in typical worlds where your cards suck like Atlantica? That would be really cool. And I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I really like reading the story. Even though there's less creativity because you don't get to choose your deck. It's a very different uh, style of game, and I kind of appreciate that. The strategy is a lot different. It's here are your cards, make the best of them. But dark mode is pretty cool. Ooh, yes please, HP orbs. Oh, that was it? For the enemies, okay. We've actually explored a huge amount of Halloween Town, which is pretty nice. Let's go in here, six or higher. Not using looming darkness. Guess we'll use stagnant space. Why not? Ooh, ha, that's appropriate. We're at the beginning of an ominous corridor as we go from Halloween Town. That's actually really well done. Sure enough, here's our level up HP again. I'm sure there are some sp people screaming at me like, DP! You gotta upgrade the DP! But here's the thing, I rarely use DP, I only use it in boss battles. And even then, 30 is quite enough. At least for the time being. Because generally speaking, for the boss battles where you really want to stay in dark mode, it's pretty easy to re-enter it. You don't really need to stay in it for a long time when you can just re-enter it super quickly. God bless the Dragon Maleficent card in Riku's story. In Sora's story, it's not very good. Alrighty. Let's go to the end of the corridor and fight the boss. We need a four or higher for blue. Let's use one of our moments reprieves, and then key of beginnings. Alright, Oogie Boogie, and I just realized he might actually be reasonably hard, because we don't have anything above a seven, I don't think. And all of Oogie Boogie's anime cards are sevens. Okay, we can match it with a seven. <laughs> well, that was simple. Alright, Oogie. Do your worst. Okay. And Oogie should die. He's super, super easy, especially in Riku's story when you use Dragon Maleficent. <laughs> yeah! Oogie's dead. And the best part is now we get an amazing enemy card for Riku. Oogie Boogie! One of the only things that Riku can actually use to heal while in battle. Yeah, that's gonna be indispensable. Alright. I'm gonna see if we can go up and connect over here. No real harm. Oh my gosh, we have five level seven strong initiatives? That's ridiculous. Or not strong initiatives, lasting days is. Alright, down here, eight or higher. Let's use a feeble darkness. Level zero. Halloween Town is the first world we've explored, com we're gonna explore, like, completely since we... <laughs> or, like, the second set of cards worlds we got. Because normally it's like, oh, there are free rooms you don't have to go to, and I'm like, well, why would you go to that, those worlds? But in Halloween Town, where all the enemies are super easy and they give a lot of experience,
Like, it's free level grinding. Alrighty, level up. HP. I think our HP caps at 600, I want to say. That would make sense to me anyways. Of course, we're now reaching the point where it, count it takes at least 5,000 experience to get a wobble up. And as such, these enemies are actually not giving us as much experience as we probably need. So we have to fight a lot of them. Because if memory serves, the next few worlds aren't going to give us a whole lot of experience because the enemies are, well, not very fun. Alrighty. Going up, one or higher, we're gonna use a level 3 Strom Initiative. Because Strom Initiatives are the best. Especially when it's the all that is flower wave. Alright, I really should get rid of a lot of the cards I'm not going to use, so like, I don't need this many Tranquil Darknesses. Or Sleeping Darknesses. Or Stagnant Spaces. I'll keep the lasting days, as those are pretty good. But I really want more Strom Initiatives. So I gotta make room in my map card deck for that. Well, I guess that's it for the Strom Initiative in this room. You know what that means? It means we need a Strom Initiative for this room as well. Because we have three of those five valued ones. Come here. Man, the Strong Initiative just loves giving me this wave. The three Lotus Flowers at the beginning and then the two White Knights. Ha ha ha, nope. Again with this wave? Seriously. Unbelievable! That's like eight, literally eight times in a row this wave has been the one. Well, I got a level up. Ooh, and another strong initiative. Excellent. And it was this wave again. Ridiculous. There we go, at last, a different wave. Alright. So there's one room we didn't enter, I actually do want to enter that room and get as much experience as I possibly can, because... why not? Let's see, a one or higher. Let's use another Stroll Initiative. Why not? 
Yes! This is the wave I've been waiting for. You can end the battle in seconds and get a lot of experience. Alrighty, thank you. Now I'm getting that wave a ton. That's like 500 experience in about 5 seconds. Which is why I love that wave. Oh, okay. I'm happy with this wave again. Because again, a lot of experience in a short amount of time. Okay, that's all the enemies for there. We just have one room left in Halloween Town. I am so glad I saved Halloween Town for last. Because your deck is just so good. Alright, I'm not going to use a strong initiative for this room. Six or higher. We'll use a Lasting Days level seven. And at this point, Riku will have gone through all of his worlds, so I guess that means he wins Ansem's bet. So that'll be interesting to see what happens then. Well, if I could get another level up before leaving Halloween Town, that would be amazing. And that would totally make up for Olympus Coliseum, where I only got two. I'm also like, Mickey Mouse? Who's that? Nice, another level up. Nice! Attack power! Leveling up attack twice in one world means you've definitely done something right. Alrighty. I really wish there was no limit to the amount of map cards you could hold. Oh well, that's it for Halloween Town. Wow, we definitely did ourselves proud in that world. Alright. Let's leave. Oh boy. That scent. You're another nobody. You've done well to make it this far, Riku. Your reputation is well deserved. But to be scared of the darkness, what a waste. I'm... I'm not scared. I can see that you are. You have the potential to control it. Cast away the fear that weakens you. Unbind your heart and take hold of the darkness within. And if I say no... Then you end here! Light, darkness, and all! All oh, Dane. Urgh! See the power of darkness! I, Lexeus, will not yield to a fray-hearted craven! Now, end your resistance and let the darkness in! So now we get to battle Lexeus. He's a very interesting guy. He wields an axe sword. Which is interesting. He's very powerful and has a lot of defense. But he's not super hard. Ho ho ho. And he's earth uh, based. But dark mode can wreck him pretty hard. Ho ho. Let's hope he doesn't use the zero card. And as you can see, we just got rid of a huge amount of his HP. Help me, Mickey Mouse. Well, and also, Overdrive really helps me. <laughs> I really like Lexius. He's one of my favorite members of this organization. Oh, yeah! Oh my gosh. Nope. Let's Dark Aura him. Oh, nice use of the zero card there, Lexius. And yeah, he can stun you. I forgot he can levitate as well. That's pretty cool. No! My dark mode! 
Alright. Um, I'll use Jafar's card now. So dark mode really lets you wreck him. In regular mode, you can deal very little damage to him. Because of how high his defense is. But we're in dark mode again, so that's pretty cool. Goodbye, Lexius. That's one of my favorite fights in the game, though. Oh, look at all those pearls. Enough for another level up, and we just got one. And we get the Lexius card, which we can't get in Sora's story, which is pretty cool. But let's boost HP again. Such... such power! <sighs> What's wrong, Lexius? Is that all darkness can do? Well, it seems I am beaten, but the organization shall triumph. I may perish, but all the darkness within me will billow forth and devour you. What the? What? What happened? Where am I? I can see. I can see clearly. Lexius? Riku, I can see your heart. No, it can't be. Darkness this foul could only belong to one person. That's it. Remember me. Let me drift into your heart. Ansem! Mwahaha! <laughs> you called my name, Riku. You're thinking about me. You're afraid of the darkness I command. Good. The more you think of me, the closer my return draws. And when I awaken... Your heart will be mine! Riku! Fight! Don't let Ansem take you! That voice! Your Majesty! Meddlesome King! Ugh. The King protected me? Your Majesty, where are you? Please answer! Your will with me. Aren't you? Well, that was an awesome fight. First Vexen, and now Lexius is gone as well. What's to become of the organization? Mark Scene's out of the picture, too. Nominate turned on her. Gee, I wonder who's next. Maybe you. Me! Nah, I already took my pounding from Sora. He thinks I'm done for good. I don't plan on doing a repeat performance anytime soon. No, I think Marluxia's next in line to go. You think Sora will win, because anyone who beats you is unbeatable, is that it? That's the idea! Marluxia plotted to use Sora against the organization. So it's fitting Sora should be his downfall. Then. We won't be needing Riku anymore. Good luck disposing of him. You want to take on someone who wasted Lexius? That's not how I do things. Tell me, did you get the data on Riku's home? Oh, oh, interesting. Huh? The air has changed. One of the senses died. A really strong one. That was Marluxia, Keeper of this castle. Ex-Keeper, I should say. The Keyblade Master just finished him off. Keyblade Master? You mean Sora! Sora is here?! Would you like to see him? Or should I say, can you face him? What does that mean? Darkness and Ansem Shadow nest within your heart. Aren't you ashamed to face Sora in that state? What? 
Sora's fate is to battle the darkness. As the hero of light, he must oppose hosts of the dark. In other words, you. If you don't believe me... Then you had best see the truth for yourself. This card! This is our... Yes, your home. We obtained a world card. Now we're in basement free. Free worlds left. Next on the list is Destiny Islands. That's going to be an interesting episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you next time. We'll be taking that on and we'll finally see what Zexion has in store for us. That'll be interesting. Hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless. And I got eight level ups this episode. That's really nice.